What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a hologram effect like this in Premiere Pro. Now for this you will need some green screen footage, you can look online, or of course if you have your own green screen you can do this effect on yourself. It's really simple to do, and let's get into it. Now we're going to be adding four things, one to get rid of the green screen, and the other three will be creating the hologram effect. So first of all, getting rid of the green screen, we're going to head over to video effects. You want to come down, select King, and we're going to be using Ultra Key. Just drag and drop this onto the green screen. From there, select your clip, come up to effect controls, and from there you'll see Ultra Key. You should also see Key Color, and then you can select the color picker and select the green background. Now, what I recommend you do is change the output from composite to alpha channel. Now what we're going to be doing is come into matte generation and where the transparency is what we want to do is put this up as much as we can but without seeing the details of your green screen. So what I mean by that is we want everything completely white. So I'm going to keep it there. Now in some cases um, you might be able to see some grey on your green screen. And that's what you don't want. This is how you want it to look in the end. You want the white as your main subject and you want black as the green background. From there, you can minimize the transparency. And if you already have um, your subject completely white and your background completely black, you can change the output back to composite. If you don't, then leave it the same. Now we're going to be changing the shadow. So you can either bump this up or you can bump it down. Now it's completely up to you. Um, what I recommend doing though is turning it down a bit and then we're going to minimize this we're going to come to the pedestal and we're going to bring this up a tiny bit and we can minimize this and we can minimize matte generation now if you haven't already change your output back to composite from there come to matte cleanup and now we're going to be getting rid of this green you're seeing on the edges so first thing is choke just bump this up there we go and then come to soften which is underneath and bump this up a little bit as well and from there you can alter the contrast if you need to um, I will do it to here and from there everything is now completed with the ultra key so now we can start to create the effect so the first effect we're going to be adding on is known as noise so it's under video effects and it's under noise and grain and we're just going to be adding on the default noise we're drag and dropping this onto the green screen track now nothing will happen just yet you want to make sure you select it on your green screen in the effect controls from there you'll see the noise from there the amount of noise currently set to zero hence why we cannot see anything and just bump this up to how you like it now i'm going to have mine about here so the next thing we're going to be adding on is a color balance RGB so we can minimize noise and grain we come into image control and as you can see it's this color balance RGB drag and drop this onto the green screen now from here what we're going to be doing is turning down the red now turn this to about 30 from there the green you're going to double what the red is or close to double it doesn't have to be 100% accurate so maybe about 60 here and for the blue we're going to bring this down just a little bit so there we go now we are almost done we're going to minimize this and we're going to search for something known as grid and what we're going to do is drag and drop this onto the green screen now this is what's going to happen what you want to do is where it says size form you want to select it and select width and height sliders from there just scroll down so you can see everything what we're going to be doing is changing the anchor to 20 from there you're going to change the width to 2500 and you're going to change the height to 8 and this is what's going to give us the border can be set to 6 and the color is going to be a blue there we go so this is how it's going to look we're then going to change the blending mode to screen now you can see that effect has gone straight there I'm then going to change the opacity I'm going to bring it down and now we are almost done. What I want to happen now is for these lines to keep coming down. So this is how we're going to do it. Where it says anchor, what we're going to be doing is changing this right one here to the minuses. So just left click and drag it to the left. Just like this. We are then going to toggle the animation on the anchor. We're going to come across to the end and we're going to put this 
all the way back up like this. So now when I play this through this is how it's going to look. Just like that it's completed. Of course the final thing is you do need to position it in the correct place otherwise it just looks weird. So to do that first of all we can scale it down and then we can position this just correct using the position up here. So I'm actually going to make it drive in like a car and then again of course toggle the animation so one's going to be at the start and then we're just going to simply drag it in like this. So then this is the final thing complete. And that is how simple it is to create the hologram effect in Premiere Pro.